Hey everyone, I have here an SSD enclosure adapter. This one supports M.2 NVMe and SATA SSDs. Uh, this has a max speed of 10 gigabits per second for M.2 NVMe and max 6 gigabits per second for M.2 SATA SSD uh, drives. So let me go ahead and unbox this and we'll go through the installation of an SSD an M2 NVMe SSD drive that I have here. This is the Western Digital Black one terabyte drive. The one, the model I have is the SN770. I just got this one in. So let's get the installation started and then I'll show you how this works once we have it connected to my laptop and uh, we'll do some uh, file transfer test with this. This is made by the brand SoKiwi and uh, they claim that installation will take less than a minute. So let's see if that holds true. User manual. All right, and this is a tools free installation. So maybe that's why it takes um, less than a minute. So tools free installation. So nice metal design, a very good finish. You can see here. There we go. Okay, and then it looks like there's a lock. I think this is the latch that you need to lock into the slot, card slot right there. And then the other one goes in there. So looks like it's uh, secured properly. Then just slide this back cover in. So the missing from this installation is installing the uh, thermal pad. Let's open this back up. Thermal pad would go on top. All right, Let's this back in. All right, uh, so this is my MacBook Air. I have a sample file. It's a Windows 11 ISO install on my MacBook. And uh, we're going to try this out. So I'm going to connect this. The SSD enclosure connected, WD black. Here's a file, copy, paste. There we go, five seconds. Holy moly, that was fast. Let's do the same thing. Let's take this one out. Come here. I'll make a new folder, test two. We'll bring it back in. As you can see, this thing is going really fast. It's a five gig file and it transferred in about five seconds. That is amazing fast. Uh, while the SSD is connected to your computer, it has a nice uh, blue LED indicator light uh, showing that it is active. The connection here feels secure, although there is a gap, um, as you can see. Um, and of course it is secure on the other end. Of course you can always get another cable if you feel that that's not insecure. And I hope you found this review useful. Thanks for watching.